Hello and welcome back to my channel eMaths and today the topic that I have chosen is Algebraic Identities which is again a very important chapter and I think from grade 8 we have this chapter so it is very important because we will be doing algebra in grade 8 and so on so let's talk about Algebraic Identities here I am going to discuss about only three identities let's start from the base so that you can understand it easily so my focus is going to be on only three identities today one is a plus b whole square second is one a minus b whole square and the third one is a square minus b square so let's talk about a plus b whole square as we all know that if anything has this power two it means repeating the entire thing two times so if we open up the bracket or we have to remove the power it will be a plus b written twice because this power 2 means multiplying the same expression again so when I need to multiply this binomial by the binomial you know what the process is you have to break up one of the brackets so it's be the, it's the same so just do that break one bracket and multiply by the other one so this will be a plus b and this plus b will also be multiplied by this so write that plus b which gives us a into a will give you a square plus a b i hope you remember if you have watched my previous videos i have shared how to multiply monomials by binomials binomials by binomials and there are many other multiplication things given in that so here we need to recall the, the, that multiplication that when you are multiplying a monomial by a binomial because when you have broken this bracket it becomes a monomial by a binomial okay so when you multiply this a by this a you get this a square and you also need to multiply by the other term in the bracket so when a multiplied by b we gets we get, we get a b. again b will be multiplied by this a you will get an a b and this b when multiplied by b square will get gives us a b square now from here we are going to get that identity which you need to learn because if you learn it then you don't have to do this entire multiplication and then come to the conclusion that the, what the answer is going to be about now if you see we have only one term for a square there is no other term which is having a square now here if you do see in the center we have like terms I have also explained about like terms in one of my video please go and watch it like terms are the ones which have the same literal values this is also a b this is also a b so we need to add the numeric coefficients here we have not written but it means 1 a b 1 a b which gives us plus 2 a b and the last one b square so for this particular thing we have this so that means a plus b whole square gives us a square plus 2ab plus b square that means if you are going to put it in any of the um, like if a question comes like this you have a plus 2 whole square so instead of breaking it into uh, binomials multiplying the binomials you if you know the identity okay this is similar to an identity which is a plus b whole square you can mentally recall okay this, this is the value of a this is the value of b we simply need to put it here in the formula so a square means it remains the same because we have taken a as a only plus 2ab means 2 into 2 into a so we have 2 into a into 2 plus b square means 2 square this gives us a square plus 2 2 here we are multiplying this so we'll multiply the numerical coefficients you get a 4 a plus a 4 so this is one identity and this is how we apply all right now i'll talk about a minus b whole square so in the plus one, one identity we had a plus b whole square we had a square plus 2 ab plus b square when you have a minus b whole square again the same thing you're going to multiply this a minus b by a minus b so again you need to break one of the bracket and multiply the only change is of the sign but sign makes the entire change so this will give you a square minus a b 
minus AB. Now, if you see this, here is also minus, inside is also minus. So, you need to multiply the signs as well. Minus minus will give you a plus and then a B square. So, this gives us as my A square minus 2AB plus B square. Again, I'll take one example. For example, we have 2x minus 3 by the whole square. So, as you can see here, here the value of A is 2x and B's value is 3. I'm oh, sorry, I'll write B here. B's value is 3y. So, wherever you have A in the identity, put the value of A. Wherever you have B in the identity, put the value of B. So, A being 2x, so we'll put 2x the whole square. This will come in the bracket and then the square will come. Then 2 into 2x into 3y plus 3y the whole square. Now just solve them. This will give you 2 2s are 4 and x will also be multiplied by x. Minus 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 3 is 12 and then xy plus 3 3s are 9y square. I hope this identity is also clear to you how we are putting up the values and doing it. So just remember the identity plus has all as plus minus has only this term in negative both these terms are positive otherwise and this is how we apply. Now I am going to, going to talk about today's last identity that is a square minus b square. So a square minus b square is equals to a plus b a minus b. This is the solved part. I will do this one. When you will multiply a by the other bracket a minus b and when you will multiply this b by a minus b, you will get a square minus ab plus ab and minus b square. So, if you see we have one negative and one positive like term, this you can cancel it up and that's how we get a square minus b square. So, whenever you have a question in this format, you need to open up in, in this way. Like for example, if I take this example as uh, 2a minus 7b and another bracket will be 2a plus 7b. Now, here if you see the value of a is same, a is 2a and b is 7b and if you see that the signs in both the brackets are different, that means we can apply this identity. So, you just put the value of a that is 2a the whole square minus 7b the whole square which gives us 4a square minus 7, 7s are 49b square. That's how we use these identities to solve the questions and it's very important to learn them instead of solving and finding it out that how we are going to get this or how we are going to get a square plus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square it's better that you remember that okay 2a plus 3b whole square is there that means we need to apply this identity simply write the identity put up the values and find the answer it will be much more easier for you rather than multiplying the binomials I hope you have liked my video and I hope I have made things easier and clear to you people. Keep watching my channel, do subscribe it and share it with your friends. Have a good day. Bye-bye.